Hey folks, Jiminy Critic here, back again with another movie review for you. We're going to talk about a re... I don't know what to call this thing. It's a, there, there are so many of these anymore, folks. Remakes, reimaginings, redos. Give me another shot at a movie that's already been done because I can't think of anything original. I, I don't know what to call this. The movie we're going to talk about today is The Last House on the Left. Yeah, Last House on the Left. You say, I've heard of that movie, Jiminy. Of course you have because in 1972... Mr. Uh, Wes Craven became famous worldwide because of a movie called Last House on the Left that he made and directed. And of course, it was a terrifying, horrible thriller, I guess you'd call it, kind of a gore fest, really, one of those type of movies. All sorts of uh, taboos broken and boundaries broken in this movie. Well, they've come up with a reimagining or a remaking of this movie, Last House on the Left, recently. And Here's what I'm going to talk to you about today. It comes to us from Rogue Pictures. Of course, it's in the drama, thriller, I don't know if I'd use the word horror as much, genre. Um, it's rated R. The new version is rated R, and again, R ratings you know, have all sorts of meanings, but this one definitely brutal, horrible violence, language, very adult scenes kind of things in this movie. I'm not exactly even sure who this movie is intended to be made for, unless it's just for people that like a shock when they go to movies. It's not something you'd certainly go out and say, let's have a good evening, go see Last House on the Left and come home with a couple chuckles. That isn't what's going to happen. It's not that kind of movie. It's, it's just terrifying thriller. Uh, this movie, the only major known star that you're probably going to know that's in this movie is Tony Goldwyn. And you'll say, Tony Goldwyn, where have I heard that name before? Well, he's been in a number of features, but probably most notably back in the day, he was in a movie with Patrick Swayze, um, and Demi Moore called Ghost. If you remember that movie, that was a very popular movie, and he played the bad guy friend uh, who has some terrible things happen to him. So if you remember back that far, that's Tony Gold. Well, he plays a doctor in this movie, and the basic premise of Last House on the Left is the doctor, the wife, and the teenage uh, kids go to their retreat home deep, deep, deep in the woods. It is interesting how many of these families always seem to have these second or third or fourth vacation homes deep, deep in the woods where anything can happen. Anybody can sneak up on you. Nobody outside in the real world will ever know anything happened to you. Somehow your phone lines never work. The electricity never works. Anything you need working never works when these movies take place. Well, anyway, the basic premise is they go out for a retreat for a family. Uh, there is a terrible group of, I don't know what you want to call them, thieves, roamers, robbers, rapists that come up to their sight, run into their daughter and her friend just kind of walking through the woods, savage them, beat them up, almost leave. Well, one of them actually does get killed. The daughter, they leave for dead after just molesting her and stabbing her and figuring that she's dead. Well, this is what's supposed to be the twist of the movie. And I'm going to tell you right up front because it, it's as gory as can be that the people that did these terrible acts get up to the vacation home acting as if their car has broken down, they're looking for help, and what does the good doctor and his wife do? Of course, they take these people in not knowing that they're murderous rapists and have done terrible things and even have left their daughter out there for dead. They're just thinking there's some people that need help and want to give them a hand, and of course, all sorts of terror ensues. And at some point of the movie, the almost dead daughter makes it back to the house. Dad realizes what has happened, and all of a sudden, we got a 180 turn, and Dad, the doctor, becomes the vengeful killer looking to take out each and every one of these members of the terrible team. So if you're looking for a fright fest, a horror fest, a gore fest, a shocking, kind of disgusting, you feel like you need a shower movie after you're done seeing it, Last House on the Left, the remake, is for you.